My mother used to say, always look for the helpers, because if you look for the helpers, you'll know that there's hope. My name's Nathan. I live in a co-housing community in North Carolina. I came home from work uh, one night and I saw a bunch of emails going on about a lack of face shields in our local hospitals. One of our neighbors, uh, Luke, loves designing stuff and he has a makerspace in his garage. And so he took it upon himself to design a face shield and start seeing if this was something that hospitals wanted. We were lucky enough to have a neighbor that had some sheets of one millimeter uh, acrylic. So after it's been cut, we stick it in an oven, heat it up, take it out of the oven, and bend it over a cylindrical form. Pretty good. Can you actually see if you were okay? He created a prototype and sent it to a hospital. They had a little bit of feedback. He uh, made a second prototype and basically has been iterating the process to continue to refine these face shields. And he's set up a way for right outside of his garage, right here in our neighborhood, people are able to come and help assemble. It's pretty simple, but it does take some time. Well, we've got uh, a couple of different families here and kids are pitching in as well. They're wearing one right now while we're filming so that we can practice good social distancing measures. It, it, feels, it feels so great to, to be able to contribute in some capacity, just in any way. It's been interesting as COVID-19 situation develops. It seems like every day things are getting worse and more extreme measures are being taken. But at the same time, I've been following the development of the Face Shield Project, and it's been really cool to see that develop to something that looks quite professional. Yeah, so this is the, the new foam. It's, a, it's a little bit thicker and it's really soft. The face shield itself has developed. It's cool to see that, but also word got out that we were making these. So Luke, tell me the update. First of all, we're getting feedback um, from folks that are receiving our shields and are just like over the moon excited to get something. So we've now shipped them to Austin, South Carolina, Augusta, Georgia. We're shipping some to New York today. So um, this is this 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 is what we're what we're hoping for right now. There's urgent demand, uh, and so we're working as fast as we can to make our process better and make our shield better, um, and most importantly, get them in the bay for the people that need them right now. If you want to help out please consider sharing this video so that more people can see it, more people can donate to the GoFundMe that's been set up to support this project. We'd love to see more face shields reaching more people on the front lines. And finally, to all of you on the front lines, the doctors, the nurses, and all the healthcare professionals, we're doing this for you and our hearts go out to you. Thank you for your sacrifice.